What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nasher. Welcome back to the channel. Now before we get started with today's video, the road to 200 subs has now come to a close and we are now 228 subs away from hitting 500 subs. And who knows, maybe maybe we might hit 500 subs by, by the end of the year. Only time will tell. But as I've said in previous videos, if this channel does get to 500 subs, I will open up this Korean LOB booster box in its entirety on the channel that I got from my partners over at Collector Store. So be sure to check them out. Link and address will be in the description below. By checking them out, not only does it support them, it also supports the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. On the hopes of it to potentially pull a a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Dark Magician, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, a Piece of Exodia, Monster Reborn, Pot of Greed, the possibilities are out there. However, if this channel gets to 1,000 subs, I will open up this first edition Tomb Chaos box in its entirety on the channel that I also got from, from my partners over at Collector Store on the hopes to potentially pull a Collector's Rare out of this set. But with that being said, if you guys want to see these boxes get opened, maybe you guys want more episodes of WWE's Biggest Issue. Maybe you guys want more episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Biggest Issue. Deck profiles, card discussions, WWE topic videos, or maybe, just maybe, you guys want some premium live event predictions and results. Well, if you guys want all of that and more, my channel is the place to be. So if you guys are new to the channel, and I know that a, that a lot of you guys are, because more than 80% of you guys, more than 80% of you guys are actually watching the content. Whoop. Sorry guys. So, sorry about that guys, I accidentally hit my tripod. Anyway, anyway, more than 80% 80, 80 of you guys are watching the content, but you guys are not even, even subscribed. And to top it all off, we gotta get more women to watch the content as well. So if you guys are watching the content, you like the content, and you want more of the content, but you guys have not subscribed as of yet, then make sure you guys do indeed subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, smash that thumbs up button on this video, and as always, make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media. All of my ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And I want you guys to post in the comments below answering the question of the day, which is this. Who would you consider to be the, the greatest signing to WWE of 2024? Let me know down in the comments below. And for today's video, we actually have something very interesting for, for you guys today. As we found out that we, we could be in the cusp of not one, not two, but eight new signings to to WWE in 2025 and it's weird because this year alone we've had some incredible signings to to WWE obviously you know obviously we had you know we had uh CM Punk return to WWE literally right around this time last year at Survivor Series <clears throat> excuse me we saw we saw the long-awaited signing of uh, Julia. We saw, we saw as well, uh, Steph, uh, uh, Stephanie Vaquer. Um, we saw Zarya. We've seen um, who else can I think of? Uh, the Motor City Machine Gun. So we've had quite a few incredible signings to 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 WWE, including also Nick Aldis. As well, which I never would have imagined Nick Aldis getting signed to to WWE as the GM of SmackDown, which is incredible. But these signings might just end up being being some of the best that we could have in 2025. But the question is, who are they? Well, we're about to find out right now because the first one up is Josh Alexander. Now, obviously, Josh has been working with. TNA for se for for several years now, <clears throat> and just the other day, um, at a at at a Northern Crown Wrestling event in in Toronto and NCW, um, 
Josh Alexander announced his his retirement from from the independent scene and we and apparently he's slated to do I think about like four maybe five shows with that with with um with that promotion and supposedly his contract with TNA is going to be expiring in a few months in February next year and um it's weird it's weird because um because TNA all already tr all, they always do um from what I've been hearing they do one year extensions on on contracts um before people before the talent get get the opportunity to make their decision on either to re-sign or to not re-sign and Josh Al Alexander apparently it seems unlikely unlikely that he will <clears throat> re-sign so we he might not end up with TNA again however there however there's been a lot of chatter that he could end up in WWE um which uh, you know, potentially would be NXT at some point, but we don't really know um, exactly if or when he'll 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 get signed. My my understanding is that he we could end up seeing seeing him make an appearance potentially in 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 April during during WrestleMania weekend at NXT stand uh NXT stand and deliver in Vegas <clears throat> which is very, very possible but we'll have to wait and see but coming but but next one up is none other than if I can get this dealt there we go is none other than than Yoshiki Inamura and if you guys are curious of who this guy is this dude is is argu was is arguably one of the best that pro that pro wrestling Noah has to offer, and he recently made his debut on on NXT, literally last week, not this past Tuesday, but last week. On, on, on NXT, and it seems that that Inamora and Josh Briggs will be a tag team in NXT, and it's weird. It's weird because because. The last time Briggs was in was in a tag team, he was teaming with teaming with Brooks Jensen and Fallon Henley, and they were the NXT UK tag team champions. And after that, they just kind of went their separate ways. And now Brooks Jensen has decided to align himself with the sociopathic jackass in the form of Sean Spears. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Excuse me. Obviously. Obviously, we we are aware that 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 Inamora still is still under contract with with Pro Wrestling Noah. Um, um, his time in NXT will be something that will be seen in the weeks to come. So he will be with and he will be a part of NXT for a few weeks, but it could end up leading leading to um to them potentially to Briggs and Inamora challenging for the tag titles at um at deadline at some point which is possible but it could also lead to potentially potentially the the tag team titles get, getting defended at least at least a week or two before 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 deadline because we know that excuse me we we know that Nathan Fraser has qualified for the men's Iron Survivor this past Tuesday, defeating um, defeating I think uh, Eddie Thorpe, yeah, yeah, def uh, defeating defeating Eddie Thorpe. So it's gonna be in interesting to see um, to see what plans you know you know th they'll have for for Yoshiki Inomura, but I think he's gonna do do some do some crazy things in NXT. <clears throat> Next up, we have obviously Josh. Sorry, not Josh. Jonathan Gresham. Um, it's weird. It's weird because um, just like just like uh, Josh a Alexander and his own and and Gresham's own wife, Jordan Jordan Grace, 
Gresham's contract with TNA is going to be expiring sometime in the next couple of months. And there's been there's been a lot of chatter that that Gresham could end up with with AEW at some point. But there's also been been a lot of chatter that WWE has has been has been having his eyes has been having their eyes on <clears throat> on Gresham and with with Gresham's con contract coming up really quickly, he. He has a decision to make, so it's either he joins he joins up with AEW, excuse me, excuse me, or or we see um him or we see see Gresham um go over to NXT. Honestly, given the fact that Jordan Grace has had a lot of success in in NXT. <clears throat> just this past year alone ever since um ever since the 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 relationship between NXT and TNA started started in the summer this year Jordan Grace has had a lot of success and I don't know I don't know I think Gre I think Gresham in, in NXT could be very interesting to say the very least It's possible but we'll we'll have to wait and see Speaking of of TNA. Next one up is Mike Bailey, Speedball Mike Bailey. And um and apparently unlike the previous talent, Bailey's contract is done. As of now, we found out that his con that, that his contract with TNA is now is now over. <clears throat> and obvi obviously people are are expecting to see Bailey get signed with 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 um with a with AEW people believe that his that he could do a lot of cra cra uh, crazy things in NXT especially given the fact that Trent Seven um and that um and Mike Bailey had been had been a tag team in in TNA for for a hot minute now <clears throat> excuse me and there and with with the heel turn that Trent that Trent Seven pulled on on Bailey not that long ago, there's been there's been a lot of rumors that we could end up seeing Bailey with NXT potentially team potentially in a in, in a tag team with maybe um you know you know potentially with uh, uh, Tyler Bate if he ends up if he ends up returning to to WWE because we found out because obviously we saw saw earlier this year. He got injured. Tyler Bay got injured. Pete Dunn ended up ended up doing his own thing now. I don't know. I think uh, New Catch Republic is pretty is pretty much dead at this point. But I think Mike Bailey and Tyler Bay, or Mike Bailey and Pete Dunn. I mean, that would be pretty interesting to say to to say the very least. But I think he could do a lot more in in WWE. Than he than, than he could with AEW. At least just at least that's my opinion. And anyway, but next up is actually one that I think I'm pretty. I, I think I brought up actually earlier this year. And it's Penta El Zero El Zero Mato, <clears throat> and and it's it's weird because I because if you guys recall earlier this year, I talked about how we could end up seeing seeing uh. Uh, Phoenix and Penta in in WWE at some point potentially on the main on on the on the main roster it's weird because with with um with Phoenix uh with, with Phoenix's contract had been frozen due to his injury now there's been been rumors that it's only going to be Penta that that will end up with WWE alone. So it's going to so it's going to be hard to say exactly when we'll see um when when we'll see Phoenix in in WWE. And I know that fan that 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 there's always there's always going to be going to be that one viewer that will always ask ask himself if if I if I watch AEW, I'm I'm going to make 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 the disclaimer again. No, I do not watch AEW. It's just from from what I've been hearing on on social media, 
and from what I've seen on um, seen on uh, YouTube as of late. Um, there's a YouTube channel that that I watch from time to time, and they they do I guess I I I don't want to go too 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 deep with this, but they show clips of like. Pretty much like everything that goes on in WWE and AEW and TNA and everything else in between. So it's from what I've seen on on social media. But apparently Penta um, Penta's contract with AEW is actually is actually just about done. In fact, in fact, rumor has it that his contract with AEW is going to be expiring is going to be expiring at the end of of the year which will be actually funny enough next month and we could end up seeing penta in 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 nxt sometime sometime between the beginning of january up until through i want to say maybe stand and deliver at best um but once but i think once phoenix does show up to nxt the i think the lucha brothers are going to absolutely dominate the tag the the tag team division in my in, in my honest opinion at least that's what i believe anyway speaking of tag teams and the tag team division next up are the hardys now i know what you're thinking i know what i know what what you guys are thinking you're thinking wait a minute the hardys weren't they in wwe already yes they were in fact in fact in fact, there are only there are only a small handful of tag teams that have held pretty much every tag every tag team championship that there is in, in professional wrestling. And funny enough, the Dudley Boys are one of those tag teams. In fact, in fact, they're the only tag team in WWE in, in professional wrestling to have ever held to ever held tag team gold in in WWE on Raw and SmackDown. In in WCW, ECW, TNA, New Japan Pro Pro Wrestling, and pretty much every other promotion that they've been a part of their entire careers. Where as opposed to the Hardys, they've held gold on Raw, SmackDown, WCW, TNA, and and a, and a couple other promotions. I know that Ring. I know Ring of Honor is definitely one of those promotions that they won uh, tag team gold, from what I've heard. But but it's weird. It's weird because what? Because while it is true that they are ne that they that they've that they've enjoyed their time in in you know in in TNA. And while it is true that yes, they are now now the reigning TNA tag team champions. They mentioned in a, I think I, I I think it was Jeff that 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 actually mentioned it in an in an interview earlier this year that the idea of them of him and Matt becoming NXT Tag Team Champions was the one thing that that has eluded their their careers com completely, and I think and I think um, Matt even said that he wanted. Um, Excuse me. That he wanted to end their time, their time wrestling in WWE. They they want to go out on on their own terms, and their own terms is finishing is finish up by being a part of WWE, which is in NXT. Do I do I see it happening? Hundred percent. I feel like I feel like with the Hardys in 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 NXT. I think the tag team division is going to be very unique, very unique. Because with all these di different tag teams that we have, including, including uh, uh, Gallus, OTM, the team of uh, Javon Evans and Cedric Alexander, uh, Briggs and Inamora, uh, Uriah Connors and uh, Kale, uh, Kale Dixon, um, Stax and Luca Crucifino, Hank and Tank. Uh, uh, Tyson Dupont and Tyrese Igwe, with all these tag teams that are in NXT right now, the Hardys could could really could really spice up could spice up the tag team division 
and give it a massive facelift, at, at, at least in my opinion, opinion anyway. Next up is Danhausen, and I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, who the fuck is Danhausen? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know who, who the fuck Danhausen is. Um, I've heard, I, I've, I've heard some things about him, how he's, um, how, how he's a really weird dude, but, um, there's been, but it's weird because we just found out that, um, according, according to uh, actually, uh, Fife, uh, Fightful actually reported that both AEW and Danhausen have had very little contact within the last six months, and there, there hasn't, and with no, no creative plans for Danhausen in AEW has been drawn up. There's been a lot of chatter that his that they could relieve him of of his contract with AEW, and we could see him in, um. We could see him in AEW sometime right around this time next year because the contract with AEW is set to expire in 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 the summer next year. So it'll be interesting to see to see if we if we we will see him in NXT. But if we do, I don't know. I think may, uh, him and Tatum Paxley that could be a very interesting tag team, or maybe uh, him and uh, Wendy Chu. Nah, nah, on nah. Honestly, I think him and Tam Paxley would sound would would, would would be a lot better. But the last signing that we could end up seeing is one that honestly a lot of people are actually expecting to see happen, but no one knows yet. Ricky Starks, and it's weird because there have been there's been a lot of chatter. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, so, it, there, there's, there has been a, a lot of chatter that from from within WWE, there has been a lot of, a lot of interest in signing, in signing of uh, Starks, but his contract right now, his the status of of his contract right now, is is unfortunately uncertain, and that. No one knows exactly what's gonna happen. Um, it's and obviously the I, I guess the president of a of AEW I think Tony Khan Khan is his name. He isn't even aware that that Starks is is looking to move to to NXT and. If if he does find out, obviously Tony Khan, obviously Tony is gonna do whatever the hell it takes to keep Starks with with AEW, but there's no shot. I think um, from 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 what I've been hearing on on social media, apparently he uh, apparently Starks' time in AEW, especially this past year, has been a bit lackluster, and I think uh, I think. Starks wants to get out of his contract with a with AEW, and we could end up seeing him in in WWE at some point, but we really don't know. It's it's hard to say when you know if or when we'll see these guys show up to NXT. The Hardys, we can one hundred percent expect expect them to come back to WWE within the next like five, six, maybe seven months at best, at best. And I think, and I think if they if they still have it, they could probably go for another, for another couple years or so, and that'll be it. And then after that, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame induction, no doubt. Like, the Hardys are arguably one of the greatest tag teams of all time. Like, if you had to do a Mount Rushmore, right, of greatest tag teams of all time, my opinion, it would be. It would be the Hardys, the Dudleys, the New Day, and the Usos. That right there, I believe, is the Mal Ru or is the Mal Rushmore of tag team wrestling. And I get, I, I get that there have been so many other tag teams, you know, beforehand. You know, like, um, you know, like uh, 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 the New Age Outlaws and 
oh, what's that one tag? That one faction, the Un Americans, I think was their t faction name. Um, Evolution and um, uh, the Brothers of Destruction, the Rock and Sock Connection. Um, you know, the Heart Found, you know, the Heart Foundation, uh, the Killer Bees. You know, there have been so many tag teams beforehand, but. If you were to pick, do a Mount Rushmore, those would be the four. Hardys, Dudleys, New Day, Usos, 100%. Like, that right there is the cream of the crop when it comes to tag team wrestling. So, again, again, no one really knows exact, exactly when we'll see these guys show up to NXT. But when they do, I can guarantee you that the... That both the men's single... the both the both the single men the single men's division and the men's tag team division are going to be red fucking hot. It is going to be insane. Get ready for a hell of a 2025 in NXT. But with that being said, that will do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys if you guys are new new to the channel and you guys want more WWE topic videos in the future then make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and as always, make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media. All of my ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.